Hey guys, what's up? It's Apple Critics from AppleCritics.com. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at the battery life of the Apple Watch on Watch OS 7. So Watch OS 7 has been released for about a week now, and I have a relatively good gauge on the overall battery life and battery performance of Watch OS 7. Uh, so in this video, that's what I'm going to be taking a look at. Uh, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Uh, so the Watch OS 7 is home to a lot of great new features, including the sleep tracking uh, and also a lot of new watch faces and some other hidden features. So I've used it for about a week now and I basically formed a solid opinion on it now. So the first thing that we can do is actually go on into settings. And then once we're in settings, we can go into general and then we can go into about. And now you're gonna see that we have watchOS 7 and the build number is 18R5310A. Now a new feature in Watch OS 7 is that you can go into settings and then you can go all the way down until you see battery. And then when we take a look at the battery, we have some battery statistics right here. So it tells you when it was last charged and to what percent. Uh, so you have all that information here. You can see your previous battery usage, but we can take a look at battery health, uh, which is a new feature. And your battery health directly influences how good your overall battery life and battery performance will be. So essentially what it means is how good the actual battery is and like what the maximum capacity is. So z normally it's 0 to 100, but if you have an older Apple Watch, let's say it would be 0 to 90%, and 90% will be the max capacity of that battery. Uh, so that is very interesting. So basically what Apple says is that the Apple Watch batteries, like all rechargeable batteries, are consumable components which become less effective as they age. So the more times you charge a battery, uh, the less charge cycles you can get out of it and the weaker it gets. That's just with any lithium ion battery. Uh, so that should be noted, but it's really good that my Apple Watch is still at 100%. So that means uh, that it is uh, in good condition and it still can charge from zero to 100 and it can hold a decent battery level. Now, overall, the battery life hasn't been that good on watchOS 7. After having the sleep tracking feature and a bunch of new features on watchOS 7 with the workout uh, and just uh, some other hidden features, it's just taking up a lot of the battery life. Now, I noticed a dramatic drop in the battery life since about watchOS 6.2.1. That's when everything changed. And since then, the watch has been downhill in terms of battery life. Now, I know it is the first beta and I hope that the battery will be fixed, but this is just not a good sign for beta one and for all the previous versions of watch OS that came in the last few months basically instilled that uh, the battery won't be as good anymore now i looked on twitter and that basically confirmed what i was thinking about the battery life so the first tweet i found it said that okay the ios 14 is definitely draining the apple watch battery at a very fast speed even with watch os 7 so that notes that watch os 7 is having some battery life issues and now you can see another person on Twitter wants the battery life to last longer. And they even have the latest Watch Series 5 and they still want longer battery life on Watch OS 7. So you can see it's definitely a problem. Uh, and below you can see that uh, the Fitbit can last about six days uh, for a battery life on the Fitbit. So it'd be nice to see that the Apple Watch has a seven day battery, but unfortunately that is not the case. So that basically sums up the battery life on Watch OS 7 Beta 1. So definitely be sure to comment down below about your battery life on Watch OS 7 Beta 1. I'm really intrigued to know. Also be sure to smash that like button and smash the subscribe button if you uh, enjoyed the video. And also follow me on the social media platforms of Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My username there is Apple Critics. And be sure to subscribe for more great content. And thanks for watching.